Welcome to another episode of Rated Point Fans and Glitches. Sit back and relax. In this episode, we're covering another fact. Hat Findings and Waypoints NPCs always move to specific points set by the game itself. Either it's a questionable point they stop on, or it can be somewhere completely inaccessible. What's more important is the path they take. Sure, it may look random, but it is easily predictable with the right knowledge, and that is what I'll be explaining. Here are the timestamps for each part of the video. Feel free to skip to any part using the video chapter feature. A waypoint is a simple point in the game that contains a position and an orientation meant for NPCs to stop on and relax. These things can be found anywhere in every single mission in the game. You can't really see them normally, but you don't have to since you can check the NPCs themselves for the waypoint. In order for an NPC to move to one, they need to pathfind first. Pathfinding allows the NPC to know what path to take for it to reach the waypoint. Without it, you just see them walking in a straight line trying to get somewhere. When an NPC is about to move to a waypoint, it will mark the selected waypoint as occupied, which makes it so other NPCs can't use it at the same time. Though, it can get a bit glitchy in the SRS. Some waypoints allow the occupied value to stay on forever, making the waypoint disabled and unusable. To do this, simply take out the MC who is walking to that waypoint or on the waypoint itself. If the NPC exits the waypoint and you take them out, it will affect another waypoint. Remember, only some waypoints can be disabled. The ones like civilian waypoints or black side waypoints can't be disabled due to the infinite respawning. Sometimes, NPCs can suspect points of interest and move to them, usually called the alert phase. Technically, you can call it anything you want to, but I'll call it the alert phase. During this phase, it creates a new point for an NPC to move to, but it's not an official waypoint. The original waypoint that the NPC is targeting will still be counts as occupied. Once the NPC is done with the phase, the NPC will search for a new waypoint to travel to, and mark the original waypoint as free. So keep that in mind if you're going to take out a alert embassy. Players can have their status changed when they travel into a new zone. For embassies, they don't really have any status connected to zones, maybe just a few, but it's not like trespassing or hostile. The game already tries to avoid this by not making embassies access those areas. but sometimes it fails too. Doors can restrict NPC pathfinding most of the time. Keycard doors typically only allow people with keycards to pass through, though allows everybody else if it's open. It's also possible to lock MCs using keycard doors. In loud, MCs can and will always break doors open to reach their destination. Ship doors are not so different from that. For some reason, Hostages seem to lose their ship door privileges even though it's connected to their disguises. 
NPCs prefer to not break glass unless they see someone do it. In that case, they will shoot it and break it. So does that mean they get stuck on glass? Apparently, Sage thought about it. So when NPCs touch glass, the glass doesn't even break. It just disappears and allows the NPCs to walk through. Originally, I wanted to dive down into every detail about waypoints and pathfindings in every mission in the game. But after a while of calculations, this video will be multiple hours long. So I'm planning on making a separate series for this, where I cover every single bit of detail about waypoints and pathfindings in every mission in the game one by one. So if you're interested in something like that, be sure to stick around. Thank you very much for watching. Join me next time when we are covering the next episode, Rose. Until then, farewell.